Hi guys, welcome back. I'm sorry you haven't heard of me in a while, but I've been busy with my exams the last week and I have more coming up next week and I thought I'd just do a little video um, whilst I'm taking a break from studying. And for this video I thought I'd chat a bit about my favorite books because I really enjoy reading and I thought it would be fun to share some of my favorites with you. So here we go. Number one. This is a book by someone I think most of you may know. He has also written The Boy in the Striped Pajamas and his name is John Boyne. And the book that I'm talking about is called The House of Special Purpose. And I really enjoyed this book. Um, it plays around uh, the time of the Russian Revolution and some time later. And well, since I've been young, I've been obsessed with the animation film of Anastasia and I've been really eager to find out what happened to her. Sadly, I found out she had actually died um, because they did a whole research thing on it and there was a doc documentary about it on this, I think, National Geographic. I think I'll link it below if I can find it again on YouTube. And well, I really enjoyed this book because it just um, tells the story of what could have been and it was kind of surprising as well and um, well, the point of view is from somebody who had worked at the palace at the time of the Russian Revolution and well, I just really enjoyed it and I hope you will as well. Number two. I think this um, is more for girls and it's not just one book but more a book series and all the other books the author has written so far which is sadly only one but there is one coming out in June I think and the author I'm talking about is Lindsay Kalk and she has written the I Heart series and this is the first part I Heart New York and also the single girls to-do list and I really enjoyed both uh, well the series and the separate book because they are just typical chicklets and they are ideal of, um, when you really want to read something but you want to read something more light-hearted um, for example not this this is serious this is about war and and such but this is just about fun times and being a girl and all that uh, and all that stuff so I really enjoyed that and I think most girls will so read them. Number three. This is also a book series and they have been written by a British author I think but I also read them in Dutch because I started reading these books when I was about 10 but um, so maybe a bit too old for them now as I'm now 18 but um, they still haven't released all the parts so I don't know how everything will end yet and I do want to know what, how it will end so I will just keep buying these books. And uh, they were written by Mary Hoffman and this is part one, City of Masks. So as you can see this is in Dutch. And well first of all the cover is really nice and all the Dutch books are like this. Well the Dutch books from these series of course. And they don't do the English ones like this anymore, so I'm a lucky girl. And yeah, they're really interesting. And I once had a book report on the on these on the first book actually. And my teacher said it reminded him of the Matrix, but I've never actually seen the Matrix, so I really wouldn't know. So if anybody has read these books, um, well, this, they're called the Travaganza series. Tell me whether or not they are like the Matrix because I don't know. What I can tell you about them is that these um, books play partly in modern day England and partly in um, a parallel world uh, in 16th century Italy. They are about people who can travel to these, this parallel world and there's a lot of danger and things and no it doesn't sound very attractive right now but you really should read these books because they're amazing 
Number four. Again, just, this is not just a single book, but more like every book ever written by the author, who I think writes amazingly. And one of her most famous books is called P.S. I Love You, so of course I'm talking about Cecilia Ahern. Well, I think most people uh, might think that her books are more suitable for female readers, but I do not think that that is the case. Yes, I own almost every book by her, but I am just one girl and not the whole female race. For example, the gift is very suitable for men as well, which, and this is actually, I think, one of my favorite books by her, and it just has a deeper meaning behind it, and it is just amazing, and the ending was completely surprising. So if you like to be kept in the dark, this is definitely a book for you, and another book written by Cecilia, which I really love. It's called The Book of Tomorrow. And this may be more for girls because the uh, main character is a teenage girl. But I still think it's a really good book and it isn't necessarily written for the female sex. I think people should just give her books a try because she writes so good. I can't believe someone can write like this. I really don't know what to say about them except how good they are. So, read them. Number five. This is a very serious book and it is very suitable for people who like to read about World War II, uh, people who enjoy that sort of thing. But also if you don't necessarily enjoy reading about World War II, it is still an amazing book. It was written by an Australian author, I believe, and he is called Marcus Suzak. And the book I am talking about right now is called The Book Thief. Now, as you can see, it has quite some pages, I believe 500. It's 554 pages, but believe me, you have finished this book in no time. It's such an easy read. You really won't be bothered by the number of pages. And even though this book is about World War II, it isn't negative throughout. Although, yeah, there are some bombs falling, and there's something about concentration camps and all that sort of stuff. But it's more about a girl who's trying to find her place in the middle of all that. And I thought I'd create the back for you so you really know what it's about and you can see why I was so intrigued when reading this. So here we go. Here is a small fact. You are going to die. 1939 Nazi Germany. The country is holding its breath. Death has never been busier. Liesel, a nine-year-old girl, is living with a foster family on Himmel Street. Her parents have been taken away to a concentration camp. Liesel steals books. This is her story and the story of the inhabitants of her street when the bombs begin to fall. Some important information. This novel is narrated by death. It's a small story about a girl, an accordionist, some fanatical Germans, a Jewish fistfighter, and quite a lot of thievery. Another thing you should know. Death will visit the book thief three times. Wow. Just the back side of the book is already captivating and compelling and it really made me want to read the book so I think a whole lot of you will want to read it now as well which I think you should this really is an amazing book and I've been recommending it to all my friends and annoyingly only one has followed my advice and read it huh. so I think you should follow my advice and read it and tell me what you think or if you have already read it tell me what you think as well because i would love to know if there are any other people who love this book as much as i did because it's good number six this book has got to be 
definitely one of my all-time favorites and it's a part of the series again and it is very famous and I've reread the whole series about five times and I plan on rereading them again when I can find some time, maybe during the holidays in the summer and it has been made into a very successful film series as well so if you haven't guessed it by now I am talking about Harry Potter ha huh. and well the books obviously have been written by JK Rowling or Rowling I'm not quite sure how to pronounce her name but these books have been amazing my dad used to read them to me when I was younger and eventually I started to read the books myself as well because well he couldn't read reread them to me every time so I had to do it myself which I didn't mind because the world of Harry Potter is simply captivating I really enjoyed being a part of it which may sound silly being a part of a book series but yeah they've been with me throughout my childhood into my early teens and I really enjoyed reading the books and I really enjoyed the films I've also been to the what's it called the Warner Bros. Studio Tours, which are um, a little outside London. I was there last year and it is amazing to see all the film sets. Well, I am recommending this book to read, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be talking about it right now. But it, I really can't imagine any people who haven't read these books, but I know there are because none of my friends have read these books, which really makes my jaw drop every time I think about it. So for all the people who haven't read these books, read them. It's amazing. Okay guys, there you have it. My uh, top six favorite books slash authors slash series of all time. And um, I will put all the titles and the, the authors down in the description box. So you can read it and look them up and buy them and read them, which I think you really should. And please let me know if you have already or are going to, and also let me know what you think of these books. I really want to know if there are any other people who love these books. That's about it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you did, because I do plan on making more videos in the future. So, yeah. Goodbye.